season of Design Squad. Now, over the next 13 weeks, you're going to be designing and building real projects that solve real problems for real clients, just like real engineers do. Now, we've got the purple team and green team. Now, if you turn towards the back, you'll see where your workshops are. You have identical workspaces. They're equipped with all the tools you need to design and build and troubleshoot your projects, including computers with internet access for research. Back here in the shop, there are larger tools that you'll share. So, let's get down to business. Now, each week, the winning team gets 100 points per member. The losing team gets zero. Now, at the end of the 13 weeks, the engineering training with the most points is going to win the grand prize, which is no less than a college scholarship from the Intel Foundation. So, without further ado, Let's hear from your client to find out what your first challenge is. Roll the tape. Oh my God, IKEA has hundreds of room settings designed to inspire you. This room was designed with a 16-year-old girl in mind. It chose a fun, bright color and added plenty of space to store clothes and a lot of room to hang out with friends. And this is a boys' room. There's lots of functional storage. It makes the most out of a small space. We want you to design furniture for our girls and boys rooms. Here are the steps. Both teams must build one large piece and one small piece of furniture for one room. You can either substitute an existing piece or design a completely new one. Either way, one of the two pieces must have an innovative storage feature. But here's the catch. You must use cardboard made from recycled paper to build your furniture. And they must be modern, comfortable, innovative, and functional. Both pieces will be unveiled at Ikea and will be judged by the public. So what do you guys think? Good challenge? Yeah. Let's review the specs, all right? You're building two pieces of furniture, one small and one large. You can either choose to replace or add to the bedroom set. Now, Please keep in mind, this is real. Your projects are actually going to be on display in Ikea, subjected to the public's decision about who wins. Right? Uh, now, do we have any questions? How do you decide who's going to do what room? So glad you asked. Musical chairs. Nice. <laughs> there we go. Okay. 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 So you all know how musical chairs works. There's eight of you, seven stools. You walk around the circle until the music stops, Last person standing is out. We're going to go until one team is left, and that team gets to choose which room they're designing for. You ready? Yeah! Roll the music! Green team, we got the boys. That's what we want. 
How does it make you feel? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you guys happy? What are we standing around for? Start brainstorming. Uh, <laughs> over there. We'll get in your corner. Go. Oh, look at your pictures. Okay. I'd like to replace something that's already there. So we can we can have all the freedom to work with it and make it whatever we'd like. You know how in some kitchen cabinets have the, the rotating yeah. disc? The lazy yeah. Susan. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so oh what, if it's, like, what if it's like what if it's like this? This yeah, actually looks cool. You know, Christmas yeah. tree has like in my room I'd rather have this than that bookshelf. Circles are a man <laughs> <laughs> Designing for an eight-year-old boy, I haven't been an eight-year-old boy since I was uh, eight, but it would be harder for me to think of what a 15-year-old girl would like, because I've never been a 15-year-old girl, so I was kind of happy that we got a room that at least I could somehow relate to. Ooh, wait, what if it's like a corkscrew, where we take the same space as this, but That's one so corkscrew? Yeah, I think we need to step back, and tr instead of trying to be like overly unique, we need to think practical. We were thinking that if we can make like one of those long lounge couches, like you see like psychiatrists, yeah. offices, yeah. like how it swoops down, something we could replace that with. That's Start sketching. Alright, so this is going to be yeah. something like, like a chair, and then we could probably do something fancy with the legs down, like this. I think we should get a piece of cardboard and see what it looks like. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is more, uh, oh, there's a lot. What if we use it as shoe storage? <laughs> but if, like, we had a bunch of them inside and put shoes in there? Oh, that'd be hot! So, basically... What if we made it shaped like a shoe? What if we took a chunk out of here? And it could be like a shoe... Oh! That's hot. We could like put um suits together to make a straw for the sitting part. Like well, one roll, what if we had like string roll, like, like string of tubes like this? Yeah, you know? something like that. Are shoes cool though for sixteen year olds? Yeah. And, okay, a chair shaped like a shoe. Okay. Anyway, this is still one idea. What is the other one? We can make it be a side table. You can have it. And, and then have, and then have, have different layers. Have the kind of one and like little. Yeah, and the top one would be the tabletop. Hello. Hello. How's it going? So, Fine. Swell. Swell. Good. Give me the 30,000 for you, what you're doing. <laughs> um, we're still tossing around ideas. We don't exactly know what to make. Okay. Who's your client? A boy. Or boys. Two boys. Two boys. Two boys. Twin boys. Where do they live? A small ocean. town in the suburbs. <laughs> oh, it's really good. Spec sheet. Oh. Tells you all about your clients. Did you guys actually look at this before I even got here? I'll be honest, no. Uh -huh. It's a lot of writing. <laughs> <laughs> and and yeah, You know, right? reading <laughs> the pictures. Right. You guys need to focus in. Think about who you're making this for. Where do they live? What's what's important about this room? What's the theme of the room? Tell me about the theme of the room. It looks, no, cool. it looks like Taylor. <laughs> Sailing nautical theme. I like that. Okay. Get to the point where you guys have a plan that you can execute in the limited amount of time you have left today. So you can make good use of it, alright? Okay. Okay. Um, so we have twin boys, eight year old. Each wants to have their own space in one small room. And there's yeah. two of everything except for a bookcase. Right, so there's yeah. one. And you can replace the bookcase with maybe another bookcase, but is it some way like divided so two people could use it for two separate things? Yeah, so two of us work on detailing the rest of this bookshelf. And, the and two of us figure out the next idea. Okay. Wait, the problem with the bookshelf was you can't really define whose space is what. So I think it, whatever the bookshelf is, that's we really define space. Like, that's my space, your space, our space. Sounds great. What if we have, um, like, something that came down? From the top, um, that was a storage space. What if, what if we uh, somewhere in here we incorporated one of those little basketball hoops? Those are fun. Nice. I like that would be nice. <laughs> that would be an awesome hook. Like ball, be two sides. Yeah. We're using many layers of cardboard so that it uh, it supports the weight. Because if it's one, it's gonna bend. If it's many, it's not gonna bend. You see, many, it's strong. Tomas is right. The sides of the chair need to be both stiff and strong. 
When you sit on a chair, your weight pushes down on the sides, placing them in compression like a column. The sides must be stiff enough to prevent bending and to prevent buckling under the load. A single sheet of cardboard will buckle. So if purple team laminates or glues several sheets together, they'll make the sides of their chair thicker, increasing the stiffness to carry the load. So I use uh, contact cement, and this helps the cardboard stay together and stay tight, and uh, it needs to dry. All right, guys, um, what we were thinking is there's going to be a big hexagon on top, and it's going to have the hoop on it. Okay. Your theme is more like the sailing theme. Yeah. And have that. yeah. Why would you that. want a basketball? I mean, that's awesome. Kids would like it. So, what's the idea, though? Uh, right under it, you have three other hexagons a shelf, a coat hanger, picture frame, and basketball. I think that is awesome. I'm gonna make a notch in this just to see if one of the possible ways you can put the shelf space along the tube is to make a notch and then stick it in there. going to be the basketball hoop, then there are going to be three smaller ones under it. This one's going to have the hooks for coats. This one is going to be the shelf. And this one is going to be a picture frame. You know what your design is in your head, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> can you redraw it so I can understand it too? So we have, this is in between the closets, the closets in the boys' room. We have a top hexagon okay. that has a basketball hoop on it. Then we have other hexagons coming out from right here. What about this fits with a nautical theme and will speak to an eight-year-old boy that walks into the Ikea and says, Mom, I want to get that. How set are you guys on this? We are. We're just having issues with the measurements right now. I think... Um, I think, really, if we get that sorted out, I think we can really make one, um, make it large. That's a totally different thing that I was just talking about. I'm more concerned about, about for this concept. concept. If it's just a jumble of features stuck together, like any project, that's not going to fulfill your overall concept if it's not well thought out. So think about that and try and use your time wisely. Okay. I honestly Thanks. don't think it's going to work. I mean, it's like going to be a hunk of cardboard on the wall. Do you want to keep this? No. <laughs> okay, um, thanks. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put your tools down, you guys. Well, that's it for day one. <laughs> Distress and distraught is how I would sum up today. We haven't even started building anything, so it's going to be a little difficult. Well, guys, are great. Not just good, but great. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. That'll give it more of like, you know, 
a cool effect. It's basically more decorative than structural. It's just to add like the nice touch, the nice early touch, <laughs> I guess. Job, guys, that's a nice design. We are like close to being finished with our table. How about our table? Okay, let's test it out to see if it really works. Oh, okay. That's pretty strong. That's fine. Do you want to start drawing the general shape of the chair? You're going to sit here? And then the legs start forming from there. And your body starts coming from here. It's comfortable. You okay with it? Yeah. Okay, great. When you think of messy, these things by themselves are really sturdy, plus they're already circles. And if we cut slots, and then you can put this so we can go inside it. You can also make shells in here. Okay. Okay. Let's get cutting. Leave the shells and roll it over and make a nice finish there. This is going to work great. <laughs> Here is a circle. We're gonna make some circle shells. This turns into a super storage you see. Okay. So let's get this done. What if what if we uh, this thing, this red thing, what if we make a cabinet that's basically shaped as a lighthouse, which would hold the same kind of things as this would? Yeah. Um come down. Um sort of pan flare out at the bottom. And then we have the lighthouse shapes and whatever it is up here. Ah, I like that. Yeah. Um, we should just make sure they're, I mean, this looks about like an inch apart. I think they should be at least an inch apart. How's it going? Ooh, is this a chair profile? Yeah. Oh, sweet. You laminations. My gosh. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, this is even really neat. I like it. This is the seating area. And these are samples from the tubes. What we were worried about. Wednesday, if there's like a lot of stress on the cardboard tubes, someone's going to be sitting on them. On just the tubes? Yeah. If they're too far apart, then there's less tubes, which means there's more stress on the tubes that are there. Absolutely right. I'll say like, if we took out every other one, the tubes might easy. not be strong enough. So if you distribute it out more evenly with more of them, you're decreasing the stress of any given one. And so... So we need more tubes? Yeah, that's exactly what I was just going to say. Good thinking. Keep it up. I can't wait to sit in that. <laughs> this looks like some serious design changes. <laughs> <laughs> only, only a little bit. Not, not too bad. Tell me about it. You guys got some kind of neat folding structure going on here? Yes. Um, so we completely reworked our design. Uh -huh. Completely. Um, to be a lighthouse. And it's going to be a shelving unit with a light on the top, so it's kind of like a nightlight. It's kind of cute. I like that. So what we're doing is we're actually making the the, the frame of the body just one uh, piece of cardboard that we're going to fold over, so we can get the neat lines and see a nice straight edge. This is going to be really good. Yeah. You guys clearly put some thought into it. It's got a very clear function, and it goes with the room. And it's really appealing. I mean, the, the light at the top, like, that really gives it a little extra flair that, that, I mean, I haven't seen a product like this before, so it's... That's really good stuff. I know, I'm so happy. Oh, yeah. It looks like a bird. Oh, yeah. I'll be glad when it actually looks like a lighthouse. <laughs> I'll clap when yours actually looks like a bookshelf. That's the shape of a shoe. Ooh, hey, that looks really nice. Oh, that's hot. I like it. I wouldn't sit on that. Oh, yeah. Make sure you guys are okay. Oh, she took it on the side. I don't feel good about this. 
shelves into the half tube mm -hmm. and then put the light on top of it. That doesn't seem too bad. It maintains your lighthouse idea and no more folding trouble. Yeah. Do you guys think you can pull it off in the time, Heather? We have to. Uh, I guess you can. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 All right. Well. I've cut a fin out of cardboard and now I'm going to bend it. There we go. Now I'm going to attach it to the lighthouse. It just doesn't work. I really have no idea what we're going to do, but it's going to work. There we go. It's pretty good. Who's going to sit in? Be honest. That's yeah. so bad. <laughs> I like it. How does it feel? I'd buy this chair. Yeah. Who's next? Leo. Yeah, and it doesn't feel like it's bending at all. It feels really strong. I mean, How about the other project? The classic piece of cardboard furniture. So when you have it, you know, you put your drink up here and whatnot. Okay. And then you can store your ex in the magazine in the newspaper. It's nice. Very nice. It's kind of modular, right? You can take it apart and put it back together. Upside down, right side up. Makes a match. Very nice. That's a cool extra option. Did you guys intend for it to be that neat when it was upside down, or was that by accident? Of course. Oh, of course you did. It was all designed and intended. Yeah. Brilliant work. So what do you think? I like it. It's really good. Do you like it? This is great! <laughs> <laughs> Green space is here. Wow! What do you guys think? It is smaller than I thought it would be. Yeah. Uh, I like it. Yeah. Right, moving on in and start setting up. Yeah. Team. You guys are over here. You guys are replacing oh a couple items, right? It's better in person. Do you like it better than the picture? Yeah. That's so cool. Let's not waste any time. You guys get set up. And don't go for accessories. Awesome. I have some shoes to put in our shoe storage place. Right there. Perfect. Put this on top of the table. Speechless, so perfect. Right on. I like our table a lot. There's nothing wrong that it came out. Awesome. I really love it. I'm, I'm speechless. <laughs> it's just so beautiful. <laughs> it looks good, you guys. It looks really nice. That fits very nicely. Awesome. Alright, I think we're ready for public. For 
choose blanket. Oh, that's clever. That is clever. It's irreversible, so you turn it the other way. It'll slowly turn into a piece. Okay, so this is going to be the other way. Okay, so I'm going to be able to get the for storage for the twin boys. It was more functional and realistic. Whoa, 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 whoa. I get an idea. Oh, yeah, yeah. that too. That too. That's right. right. Yep. Yeah. Are you selling these? Design squads, the public has spoken and voting is now closed. I'm going to take the ballots. There will be no recounts. Good luck to both of you. I just can't wait to figure out which piles are. Two, the bigger one. I think it's going to be close. 91, 92, 93. Bigger head? Yeah. I'm going to have a hard attack. The public has spoken. I'm proud to announce that with a winning score of 93 to 74, the winner of the IKEA Cardboard Furniture Challenge is Purple Team. So 100 points goes to each member of Purple Team. Green Team, better luck next week. The teams are shuffled up, and we're on to the next challenge. Hug it out. So after the first challenge, it's a four-way tie for first place, but the lead is still up for grabs when the teams get shuffled up. Next week on Design Squad. Hey, have you checked our website? Yeah, it's pretty cool. You can build projects on your own or with your friends. And you can win cool stuff. Oh, check it out. Go to FuriousKidsGo.org. Coming up. Oh. 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 The teams try to keep their heads above.